Scientific knowledge can improve the quality of our lives at many different levels. From the inner workings of our daily routines to global issues, science informs public policy, education, travel, sustainability, conservation, agriculture. I could keep going, but science has a massive impact on all of our lives. I've been doing science for 14 years, but only recently did I understand the impact of communicating and communicating it differently to different groups of public. So last year, if you would have given me a paper with the title, the reaction of oleic acid monolayers with gas phase ozone at air water interface. I would have said something like the atmospheric chemical lifetime for unsaturated surface active materials is considered independent to other materials that are present in the air water interface. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but instead, what if I would have said to you, like, imagine you're at a very crowded party. This really crowded party has loads of different people that are mingling about and the party is also never ending. Following that same train of thinking, imagine the atmosphere having loads of gases, liquid droplets, solid particles, and very, very fine particles called particulate matter. Particulate matter is very complex because it's made up of loads of chemical reactions from different pollutants. Now think of this as the cups that are strewn in one corner of the room that have been sealed off. Scientists find particulate matter very interesting because an organic film forms over particulate matter which alters our property which in turn alters things like climate and rainfall. Atmospheric particulate is made up of organic and inorganic compounds. Now, it is very difficult for scientists to obviously be experimenting with the atmosphere. So what they do is they mimic these conditions by mixing fatty acids like stearic acid and oleic acid. And from this, they create that same organic monolayer that mimics the conditions of the atmosphere. What happens is that monolayer is then exposed to ozone. Now, using different neutron instruments, you can look at the surface of this monolayer and you can measure things like thickness and composition of the buildup of the tiny oleic acid layers. Now this is extremely important because from this what they can tell is that the oleic acid that is present within this monolayer is independent of any other species, so the steric acid that is in this monolayer. You're probably thinking, why is it important for scientists to know about thickness, composition, and the buildup of these oleic acid monolayers, even if they are mimicking the air. Well, it's really important to atmospheric scientists because they can then explain things like cloud formation or why cloud formation is affected. So as I previously mentioned, atmospheric aerosols are coated with different pollutants. And this coating in turn, it can limit the transport of water to and from these different droplets. And these droplets are what then form clouds. And this in turn can affect climate change in general. Now, as science progresses at a rapid speed, it is important for people to know that it doesn't happen in a vacuum. It's an interdisciplinary field of research. It is for everyone. So next time you want to describe your research, tell it to everyone and describe it like it's a party.